So today I'm working on the Type R. Um, it's developed some horrible squealing noise, uh, which I think is from this belt tensioner. So I think the bearing's gone in there. Um, I'll start it up in a second. You should be able to hear it. So my plan was to try and uh, actually just get a replacement bearing. So the tensioner, it's for the Honda tensioner is like 30 quid. The bearing I've bought is six pounds. Um, we should be able to press the bearing out, take this off, um, press the bearing out, put a new one in, and that should fix it. Um, so it just seemed like a, well, something to try anyway. So I think it's a 6203 bearing, if I remember correctly. 62032RS. That's, in theory, the replacement bearing. At least that's what the internet said. So, let's just start it and see what it sounds like. So to get the serpentine belt off, you have to release the tension on it, and the pulley down here is the tensioner. So you can do that by putting a ring spanner on the 14mm on the centre of the bolt and basically pulling it towards the front of the car will release the tension. Um, the easiest way to do that is with a, a half inch drive in the other end of the spanner. It's not going to be easy to do with one hand but then we can pull it back this way and then we can flick the belt off the top of the idler. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so now the belt's loose. I found it easier to pull it off the alternator down here actually, rather than off the top pulley. We've got a 14mm in here, and we can just loosen that tension off. And then we can see the bearing. So, I don't think that number is the bearing number. I think the bearing number's on the other side, but I can feel it's notchy. And if I spin it near the microphone, you can hear it rattling. Plus it's quite warm. So what we'll do is take this and push the bearing out from that side. Hopefully it will come, because really you want to push on the outer race, not on the inner race. But we've struggled to do that here. Anyway, we'll find out. Okay, so we got the old bearing out. Turns out it was a 6203LU. I'm not entirely sure what the LU is. The one I've got in here is a 6203RS. Anyway, so I thought this seal was discoloured, but it's not, that's the original colour. Um, and so we just pushed this out with a socket um, and used this old one to push the new one in with an inner vice. Didn't need a press, so just a big vice does the job. Um, pushed it out from this side, pushed it in from this side, and then it can go back on. I'm going to put a new belt on as well. Uh. And then I'm going to get this belt off. So that's how you change your idler bearing and auxiliary belt on an EP3 Type R K2082. Thanks for watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you'd like to see more videos like this then like and subscribe.